Good evening. So we were supposed to do our 60 day check in last week, but we missed it because of a meeting. So here we are. We're actually right, on day awesome. but the numbers will be from day 60. So, <laughs> um, so for, I'll go first for my weight, the scale weight, I'm down 33.8, um, for body fat down 7.8% for sub fat. It's down 6.3% visceral fat down four. And then I'm up in body water for 5.4% and up in skeletal muscle for 4.6%. So, um, oh, and then inches, oh, metabolic age. I lost an age like one year, but I'm still too old. So, <laughs> uh, and then my inches, I'm down 19 inches. And so total transformation is 53.42 pounds. And then the 19 inch total change. So that's me. And I'm very excited about it. And thank you guys for all that you've done to set this program up and like, and, and, and allow people in as they can, because, you know, it's, it, it can be a lot of money. So for us, it was working with us to allow us to transform healthily, but, you know, in a way that we could afford it too. So I think that was really important to us as well. And I just wanted to let you guys know that. So here's yours. Well, well, Mary, don't don't go yet. So I I want to <laughs> I want to ask you. This is my this is my favorite question to ask. So Mary, oh. did you believe when you started? Now just be honest with me. Did you believe when you started it was possible in sixty days to transform nineteen inches and over fifty pounds? Um, not that I wasn't an un I wasn't an unbeliever. <laughs> But we haven't been like anything we started in the last several years, we've never stuck with. So that would have been my unbelief is like, we're still doing this in 60 days. And, you know, and I had no doubt that it would work if you stick with it. You know, that's almost anything you do. But yeah, I, I didn't think I was going to change this much, though. I haven't been this weight in a long time. So <laughs> well, get, uh, and let me ask you a question. And why do you think you stuck with it? The accountability, which is the huge part, you know, of being part of a program, you know, we know we're going to have to talk to our coach every week and give a report of everything that we're doing. And then, you know, the Tuesday calls I have been able to be part of because um, we're also involved in our youth football league. So we have meetings tonight. So it's, it depends when we could get out. But the inspiration from what other people have said, really, you know, when I'm on the call, um, like I was there was one week I was on and. I don't know who the gentleman was. So if you're here, I, I'm sorry, but he was talking about outrunning the whole track team from the local college, you know, and I was like, holy moly, <laughs> like, you know, that's amazing. I want to do that, you know, so good, good girl. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that is a outstanding, yeah. outstanding check-in. Congratulations. Job. Thank you. All right, George, let's hear it, brother. All right. So. Mary did great. And I can't top that in any way, shape, or form, right? She, <laughs> she like slaughtered it. You know, I'm glad that she's my partner in the morning. We're running. It's like the highlight of my day is doing my shuffle with her in the morning. So that's like, that's, that's great. But so here we go. So my numbers, my weight is down uh, 24 pounds. My body fat is down 5.2%. My sub fat is down 4.3%. My visceral fat is minus three and i gained 3.9 percent body water and 3.4 percent skeletal muscle and my metabolic age is down three which i'm actually my my real age now <laughs> 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 um so my total transformation oh, so my total inches is a uh, negative 27 inches and my total transformation weight is 36.75 pounds and um uh, you know i I'm loving the program too, but I've been telling everybody about it. And like, everyone says I look like a high school kid. I, I weigh, I weigh the same. I weigh when I was a Sergeant in the Marine Corps, that was like 20 years ago, 15, 20 years ago. Right. I can fit in my dress blues. My blood pressure is regulated. Um, and the best thing is like, I, I'm not like hungry or tired. I feel like, I feel amazing. I, I, I want to be a coach. I want to teach more people about this. I want to get out there and show people how to do it and that it can be done because I still have Cushing's disease. I still have 
the disease. Um, and the doctors are like, heads are turning around because like, how are you losing weight when you have Cushing's disease? And it's, it's amazing. Wow. Wow. Well, well, George, man, you're, in, you're an inspiration, you know, you're an inspiration and, and, yep. and share with people what they tell you when you have that disease, when it comes to weight loss, because a lot of people probably don't know what that is. Okay. So Cushing disease is when your body makes excess cortisol, right? So I have a tumor in my pituitary that is telling my adrenal glands to make cortisol. It's, the tumor is producing a chemical called ACTH. And um, I had two surgeries. The first one I had in 2014 or 15, and when I was in the Marine Corps. And uh, bef before the surgery, I, went, I was about 170 pounds. And um, because of the tumor, I blew up to 230 pounds because it makes your body gain weight. The cortisol makes you gain weight and it messes with all your, your hormones and my testosterone, everything just gets jacked up. So they took the tumor out in 2015, um, four, 14, sorry, 2014, they took it out. And I spent the last three or four years of my Marine Corps career trying to get back fit for duty, but I never got found fit for duty. So I got medically separated in 2017. Um, I want to say in April, uh, before April, about, about a year ago, I started feeling reoccurring symptoms. And then the end of last year, I got re-diagnosed that a tumor had came back, like it grew, it grew again, but they couldn't find it because it was very small. Um, so I had surgery again in April um, and they couldn't, they, they said the cells just like, it's kind of like the, when they went in the first time, it, this, the tumor like disintegrated. So now the cells are like spread all over my pituitary. So they cut off the right, like a portion, the right portion of my pituitary gland, but they didn't cut off enough to mess up like any of my hormones. So they just cut off a little bit, but my body still was producing the excess cortisol. So after that, uh, my buddy Welch, me and I were in the Marine Corps together. He told me about your program. He's like, look, dude, you're doing all this stuff. He said, look, just try it and see what happens. So I was like, okay, you know, we tried and Mary, you know, obviously told you we we're broke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was, you know, we had to, you know, got the hookup with the plan, the payment plan. And um, I started the program and amazing results, mm -hmm. right? Amazing. Like, I, I mean, a lot of people say they don't recognize me. Like I look like a child and it's like, I mean, it's, and it's just been from the program, you know, but God's grace, you know, God's obviously he knows what he's doing, but it's uh uh, you know, faith without works are dead, right? If you don't work, if you don't do the work, you don't really have the faith. And that's the thing I think um, is different is, you know, I've tried things before. When I was, a, when I took the tumor out the first time, I lost the weight, but I was killing myself in the gym. I was right. I rode my bike 60 to 80 miles a day. Um, I was like in a gym for two hours a day and I wasn't eating anything. I was, but I had to get in Marine Corps standard. I got back down to Marine Corps standard, but I couldn't, I couldn't run. I think if I had this program while I was in the Marine Corps, I'd still be in the Marine Corps because I really believe that I would, it would have physically made me able to make the standard because I, I feel great. I feel like I, I could shuffle from here to San Diego. We're in North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> and we got our kid up today. He's eight years old yesterday. yesterday and he's been shuffling with us too. He's, he's going to shuffle with us four days a week, you know, because he plays football and I coach, I coach football. My wife's on the, my wife and I are both on the board and, um, uh, the the board for our youth football league and he's this is his fifth year playing you know and he's uh, uh he's the center and the guard and he also you know plays defensive end so he just decided to get up with us and, and shuffle with us in the morning on his own court I didn't make him do it you know he just wants to get up and do because they see us get up every morning and do it we get up at five four forty five five o'clock we start shuffling at about five thirty you know we're back at the house at six thirty and um six thirty seven and he sees it you know he's just you know, it's it's motivating to see them do it. My daughter, not so much. She's like, oh, I'm sleeping. <laughs> well, well, well yeah, listen, I really want to really commend both of you. And yep. and this is a, a cool thing for every parent to hear is more is caught than taught. You know, your kids are watching you do something and your son said, hey, I want some of that. I want some of that. You, you didn't have to say anything to him. He just wanted to do what he saw mom and dad doing. And, and I can tell you what, he's going to have a huge competitive advantage in football, you know, because by learning just even that one exercise of shuffling and drinking his water, he'll never get a cramp. He'll have great speed. He'll have great quickness. He'll have great agility. 
And look at that great self-discipline that he's already learned from just watching mm -hmm. and modeling what his parents are doing. I mean, that is awesome. That's awesome that you guys have done that. So George, stay steady on it, brother, because you know what? They can put any label on you they want. They can put any label on you they want. Um, but for those of you, if you to follow what George was saying, yeah, when you produce cortisol, they tell you if you're if you have too much cortisol in your body, you cannot lose fat. It's impossible. They will tell you it is medically impossible. But here's a man sitting there telling you, well, hey, guess what? I'm doing it. You know, I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. So he's doing the impossible. What they say is medically impossible. He's doing it. Because the, the positive things that you're doing, George, is offsetting even that negative that's trying to fight against you. And I believe it's going to completely reverse. It's going to completely reverse. You're going to be a documented medical miracle. <laughs> so we're with you, man. We're with you for the long haul. Yeah, but, great job, um, both of you. Yeah, man. And come, you. come be one of our coaches, George. I'd be honored to have you, man. Let's go change yep. the world together, man. We'll help all the young football players too. <laughs> hey, I put the stuff in there. I, I, I put my application in. So you, all you right, know, awesome. Well, good. Awesome. Well, we well, we love you.